to use some of those applications as well. We've got about two and a half million laptops out in the world right now, and a lot of those countries are very interested in their tablet computing as well. They've got an investment in our existing. Here, if you want to show that CES is a very noisy room, uh, this is a measure application. Our microphone input is also a general purpose DC input. So you can hook up thermometer sensors or different kinds of, kids do a lot of experiments with those kind of inputs uh, right now. That's just one of the things that you can do. We've also added a couple of new little games just to some examples of things you can do with, uh, with a tablet. There's a little accelerometer based game to teach kids how to use, whoop, teach kids fractions. Teach kids not to talk while they're trying to play the game. Uh, we've got a variety of interactive educational content. We've got reference materials as well. Uh, we've got a couple of what we call Wikipedia slices, which is a subset, an offline subset of Wikipedia uh, that can run on the tablet. This is a Spanish version. Uh, it would work. You can go to an English version as well. And you've got reference material. We've also got tools to teach kids programming, which is something that's been an important educational tool for us uh, right from the beginning. We've got Turtle Art, which is a, a logo-based uh, learning environment, so kids can learn how to, how to do that as well. Might be able to fire up. Turtle Art here, where's my turtle? So my little turtle art. One of the things that we've learned uh, and that our educational content has been built on is the fact that learning how to program really helps kids learn how to learn in general. And being able to modify, experiment, debug things as well is pretty important. So this is just a little turtle pro. This is the last one I left. I can take my turtle and erase everything. And now I can run it. And I've now you know, built these instructions. Okay. And then we have some different charging accessories down here. We do. We've got a hand crank you can charge. We've got a little solar panel you can use for charging. Um, one of the things that is really uh, very distinctive about this tablet, it's the only tablet that you can throw it just about any kind of DC power at, and it will take it. There's no such thing as a 12.0 volt charger. It's a hand crank. It's a solar panel. It's really whatever you can, whatever you can give it.